How's it going guys, Tech here and iOS 18.1 beta 2 is out for some time now and in this update there are pretty major changes that are carried over from iOS 18 beta 5 and newly released beta 6 so it was about 1.5 gigs on my iPhone 15 Pro to download it but you need iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max to use all of the new changes and features and I'm also going to show you how you can get or turn on Apple intelligence in India. So right here in the description it says you need to set your device language and region to US English and also for Siri language must be set to US English. So using these screenshots that I took I can show you the process. So go to settings Apple intelligence and Siri then you should be able to see join the Apple intelligence waitlist button. Upon setting everything to US English so tap it it will show you what's new and then tap join waitlist once tapped will show you that you have joined the waitlist now you will have to wait until they let you in it took me two minutes on my 15 pro but it also took some people two three days so depending on that you will be able to join it once you are in then again it will show you turn on apple intelligence button tap it turn it on then again you will see screen telling you that what Apple intelligence has to offer you with Siri. So there is new animation and type to Siri. Although this is not the actual Siri 2.0 but just the new animation. Okay so after that turn on the toggle for Apple intelligence and it's on. So give it some moment until it downloads some Apple intelligence models on your iPhone 15 Pro and there you have it. So we still don't have all the AI features yet but we do have some which we will take a look into later in this video like priority notifications, new AI focus, priority mails you can record calls and directly save audio recording or it's transcript in notes app and not just this, AI can even summarize those call text so with iOS 18 beta 5 and 6 we have these features in iOS 18.1 beta 2 so you have an extra customized button for rearranging your app screens Dark mode icons are also visible for notifications now. In Safari, now you can hide content on a web page to prevent distraction. So this is one of the features of Apple Intelligence. To do it, just tap on menu, tap hide distracting items and you can tap on anything you want to hide and it will then snap it. Tap done to continue browsing or cancel it. So to unhide it again, go back to this menu list and tap show hidden items and it will put back everything to place. So we do have the new AI writing tools and you can use it across entire iPhone. So for example here I have my notes so I can select the entire paragraph and choose writing tools. So I can use proofread to ensure consistency and accuracy in grammar, spelling, punctuation marks and formatting for this paragraph. Then I can rewrite it for paraphrasing or make it sound friendly that is casual or professional or make it concise and I can also summarize it turn it into bullets list or table so even before you make changes it will show you how the results are gonna look like before making actual changes to it then you can apply by copying it and pasting it again same goes for main and other apps like pages keynotes number and social media text and even third-party productivity apps maybe like the Microsoft apps so priority works the same for both mail and notifications like if you have a meeting a deadline nearby or an invitation or a flight scheduled or transactions made you will see those prioritized on top of each mail and notifications so these were the major changes and features added to iOS 18.1 beta 2 and beta 6 but now in addition the iPhone feels even more smoother while scrolling through control center and other UI and I think the available Apple intelligence features such as writing tools and hide distraction is really useful and can save a lot of time and help you get things done easily. So we still have to receive the actual Apple intelligence features such as image generation, actual chat GPT integration, Genmoji and Siri 2.0 it is gonna be a lot of exciting thing. I can't wait to try out it. So these features but until then thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.